Welcome back in this third video where we're going to discuss where and how to identify impact investors. Impact investors can take many forms, starting with business angels. Business angels are experienced individuals. They invest in startups in exchange for equity, debt or convertible debt is also an option. They usually provide non-financial support and we say usually that there's one wing for the money and one wing for the non-financial support. Although business angels or angel investors can invest in any type of, of startups, impact angel investors will fund social enterprise and use their network expertise and experience to support the social enterprise. So you know, in average, according to IBAN, the European Business Angel Network, Angel investors in Europe invest around 25K in a company. Next, we have the venture capital or early stage venture capital funds. According to the 2022 EVPA study, Accelerating Impact, the report found out that the VC funds represent over a third of the organization active in the EU impact investing ecosystem which would be the largest share of the pie. So impact venture capital funds are professional investors investing in startups or high growth potential companies. There are many in Europe like Ananda Impact Ventures in Germany, Altre Social in Italy, or Tilia Impact Venture in Czech Republic that we just mentioned. We can quickly discuss about private equity, but that's a different animal and they only invest in what we call mature company. So this would be the next stage when your social enterprise has grown significantly if there's room for scaling, obviously. So there's, there are several networks out there where you can look for impact investors. So if you are an early stage startup, a social enterprise, you should look at impact business angel networks or acceleration program with an investing arm or early stage impact funds, feel free to reach out to the European business angel network where they can direct you to your local business angel network. Usually you always have within a traditional business angel and, uh, network, some investors that are investing with or for impact. And you can also um, look using LinkedIn. This is uh, a great source for finding investors. I'm sharing here as well uh, uh, other sources to find impact investors, notably the EVPA directory. Uh, you have all the members of EVPA, the European Venture Philanthropic Association. They have impact funds and impact foundations that are uh, listed in their members. Uh, you can also uh, check if you have TONIC members in your region. TONIC is the global community of impact investor. And you can also, I put the link of a report uh, where there's a list of impact funds or program with an investing arm. Uh, and in that document, there's a focus on the CE region. I mentioned it earlier, Ananda Impact Venture, with, which is an uh, impact fund that I am supporting and working with. They've published this great video that I would like to show you, uh, and we can have a quick uh, debrief after the video. Enjoy. You might think that having breakfast is as simple as it can be. Well, think again. Imagine getting through the morning routine with one hand. making it to the office through a sensory jungle.
Getting ready for the day's work fearlessly, with a calm mind. Appreciating your value in the world. Let's build stuff that truly matters together. Ananda Impact Ventures. I hope you enjoyed this short video presenting some of the Ananda Impact Ventures portfolio. I hope you recognize one of the social enterprise that we mentioned earlier in previous videos, uh, which is Autikon. Um, so just so you know, Ananda is based is a German is based in Germany. They have an office in Hungary and London, uh, and they invest in the Dach region. Uh, you can have a look at their website to see their investment strategy and their overall portfolio. It's one of the leading impact venture capital fund in Europe. Now I'd like to take you to another topic, uh, which is an investment investment strategy, which is called gender smart investing. So the, the gender smart investing doesn't necessarily mean that you're an impact investor. It's just a lens that you apply to any investment strategy, a bit like ESG, except that you are focusing on gender. So gender smart investing means the intention, intentional integration of gender analysis into a new or existing investment process for better social and financial outcomes. Gender smart investing is articulating around two axes. Investing in solutions with a gender lens could be improving women's cap access to capital such as investing in a microfinance institution that specifically lends to women. It can also cover implementing gender, gender equality in the workplace and across the value chain, such as offering paternity leave. It can also means investing in promoting products and services that benefit women and girls, for instance, 
empowering women's health with free access to reliable medical information on pregnancy, for instance. And then there's the investment process of investing with a gender lens, which is about creating gender balance investment teams, creating an investment process that is intentional and sophisticated regarding gender factors, for instance, investing in women-led startups, or working with investors on gender integration, for instance, pushing for more diversity in the boardroom. There are two reasons why we need more investment into gender smart projects. First, because this, the, the, the business case is that gender balance team tends to outperform. And also there's a moral case because there's a huge gender gap when it comes to investments. Less than 2% of the global venture capital money goes to women entrepreneurs. So we need to empower more women, but we also need to change the face of capital. According to the European Women in VC report, 85% of VC general partners are men, while only 50% are women. And like I mentioned, less than 2% of investment in Europe in 2021 were in women-funded startups. There's a need to have more diversity into the investment team, into the investment process. And this is one of the reasons why we need more gender smart investors and more women-led startups. So if you are a women entrepreneur or co-founder, or if you have a solution to empower women and girls, you could look for gender smart investors. This is another tap uh, another pool of investors that you can tap into. You can find gender smart investors if you look at Project Sage 4.0. There's a list of gender lens funds. So I really recommend that you look at, uh, at those funds if you're a women founder. I can give you an example of some of the, the companies time has in their portfolio. Uh, we have, for instance, Bunzen, that is a maternity, maternity app in China. Uh, we also invested in Toya, which is a gaming studio for building non-stereotype characters. And we also invested in Datamaro, which is a women-led technology company, company that does ESG monitoring for corporation. And I can tell you that all the investment we've made into women entrepreneurs are more, re more resilient. Obviously, there is not the hockey stick that some investors are looking, but on the long run, those companies are growing nicely with a strong gender impact. So we are almost at the end of this video. So let me ask you a question. How would you define gender smart investing? Giving you a couple of seconds to think about it. So again, gender smart investing means the intentional integration of gender analysis into a new or existing investment process for better social and financial outcomes. If you missed that definition, feel free to go back to the previous slide. We are at the end of this third video. We're gonna wrap up here and see you in the last video around setting up the visions for purpose-driven companies.